I went to this movie expecting something dark and evil, but instead, something really beautiful. Really beautiful. Cinderella is the new, 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 new live-action Disney film. Oh man, we have had so much movies of Cinderella. We even have one last year, sort of. But this recent one was directed by Kenneth Branagh, who has directed such films as Thor and Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. So, you know the story by now. Cinderella lives with evil stepmom and sisters. Cinderella goes to ball, meets Prince, loses Slipper. Prince finds Slipper and leads to her, then they live happily ever after. The end. Now, like I said in the beginning, I thought this film was going to be something different, like Maleficent last year. Something that will make your head spin. But no, instead we have something that is really beautiful and stunning, and pretty straightforward. The movie was very accurate compared to the original. There were some appropriate changes and the movie added a couple of things. For example, the film begins with her as a child with her and her mother, and we also see more of the relationship with her father. Then the film continues with her being a servant, going to the ball and all of that. It truly feels like you're watching a Disney film, and it feels like the original according to the happy tone. There is music in this movie, but it's just humming. But is humming considered a musical? This film was able to do things that Maleficent couldn't do. Make it feel like Disney. A happy tone. Maleficent, I didn't really like the movie that much. Not much of a fan. Maleficent is based on Sleeping Beauty, and it's about Maleficent, the evil queen. So therefore, the film is dark and depressing, and it, it just got me zoned out. So I didn't really feel secure with its tone and changes. It just makes me want to scratch my head. I mean, how would you feel if 50 years pass, and a live-action film of Frozen was released, but instead, it's Elsa and Anna in the jungle fighting aliens. Kinda awkward, right? By the way, there's gonna be a Frozen 2, congratulations. But with Cinderella, the movie did things that are just right. They followed the original, it was straightforward. Even though you know what's gonna happen, you still appreciate of what the film is. And like I said, the movie did in fact add some things. Some twists, some turns, something to feel good about. The girl who played Cinderella, Lily James, she did great, and the movie gave her some personalities. The prince, he also has some personalities, and there were some moments where these two connect. So they have some, at least some sort of good chemistry at its best. In the original, they just meet and that's it, they're in love and they're together. But in this one, they actually have some moments which is great. So. That's it. That's all you need to know. One of my complaints would be the fairy godmother scene. I feel like it was a bit rushed. I mean, she shows up, she gives her the horses, the chariot, the glass slippers, and that's it. Even in the original, it was a bit rushed too. But there was some flavor with the bippity boppity boo song. But in this movie, the flavor is not quite there. But overall, this film is worth it. Girls will love it, boys will hate it. I'm just joking, they won't hate it, but go see this movie. Not necessarily targeted for adults, but it's a cute and beautiful film to enjoy. 8 out of 10 glass slippers for Cinderella. But here is a curious question I want to ask. If everything gets back to normal by midnight, then why doesn't Cinderella's glass slippers don't turn back to her original shoes? Hmm. I don't know, who cares? There are sorts of explanations for this, so you be the judge. So, that is my review of Cinderella. Thank you for watching. More reviews on the way.